I'm Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. I have a Dollar General haul for you today. Now I made it back to Dollar General. I wanted to see uh, the rest of the Christmas items that they had put out and I did find some more new items that I didn't see the first time I went by. So um, I picked up some more Christmas items. So let me get started. The first thing that I wanted to share with you is this cute little sign. It was only a dollar. It just says Merry Christmas in red and white. It does come with a small little hook there to hang it if you would like to. But I thought this would be perfect to go on a wreath. So I grabbed one of those. And then this sign I thought was really pretty. Um, I like what it says. It was only $2. And it says Believe in the Magic of Christmas. It has a nice wood frame, and it is a nice thick frame. But I thought that was really pretty. They also had one like this that said, Joy to the World, and it had more red. It had more of a red background with white writing. But I thought that was a nice, nice find for $2. They had a lot of really cute items, and... Um, I have a hard time passing them up, especially when they're snowmen. Uh, I saw this little guy and I just fell in love. I thought he was so cute. He's a little shelf sitter. And he was $3. And he's plush. Really nicely done. Nice nose. His little nose sticks out. But I love the little face. Very, very cute. For $3. I love them. I was thinking about maybe putting him on a wreath. I think he would be cute. I don't know. We'll have to see. Now, another item that I found that I'm considering to putting on a wreath is this nutcracker. And he was $4. And he's, he's pretty good size. I'd say he's probably about 8 to 10 inches in height. And they had probably four different styles to choose from. I went very traditional with the red and the green. But I think he's absolutely adorable. So I have two different styles of nutcracker wreaths that I'm thinking about doing. Um, so hopefully I will get to both of those this year. <laughs> I always buy everything to do all this stuff and then I can never get through them all. But I'm trying really hard this year to be better at that. And I also found these, and these were only a dollar, and you get six. And I thought they were really cute. They have a little snow, uh, excuse me, they have a little Santa, and they come on a clip. So I thought this would be really cute if uh, you like to give baked goods. You put it in one of the little decorative bags, fold it over, and then clamp it with one of these guys. This would also be good to um, <clears throat> use for... Uh, what are they called? Um, not placemats. Um, seating, like a seating chart. So you could clip this onto each person's name and have it where they sit. So there's a lot of different things you can do. You can also take the little image off of the clip and use it on an ornament or something along those lines. So I thought it was just so cute and for a dollar I had to grab it. I don't know, so many things going on in my head. I might do this or do that or do this. So I was surprised they got in some more tins and they were kind of along the same lines but different than the ones I found at Dollar Tree. So this first one is so cute. He's a little snowman and he's just slightly larger than the two that I got from Dollar Tree. And he's also finished in the back. Again, he is a tin, so you can fill him with treats or a gift or just set him out on your counter or mantle. He would make an adorable little decor piece. So they have that one, and then they also, let's see, and uh, $1.50. And this one's $1.50 as well, and it's a little Christmas tree. 
I thought that was really cute too. And again, finished all the way around, back and sides. Fill it with some treats or a nice little gift. I just have a thing about tins. I always have. It's one of those things that when I see them and they're cute, I buy them. I have way more than I need. But, you know, hey, why not? It's a buck, buck fifty. I did buy a few ornaments. Now, I bought one of these in the past. They were a little different. The hat was a little different. But I really like him. He's $3. He's a little snowman head, and they do, he lights up. Let's see. His little cheeks light up. He's super cute. So I saw him again, and I had used the other one um, and made him into a project. So when I saw this one, I'm like, you know, I just I gotta get him because I'll probably want to use him again in another project. So, and let's see, he was $3. A little snowman head that lights up. Lots of different things you could do with him. And then I saw this uh, snowman ornament and I thought, just so cute. Very simple. He was only a dollar. Very flat. This would be really cute on a package to decorate a package. I like to do that too. In my family, my mother used to give each of us kids a Christmas ornament every year. And I love that. I have Christmas ornaments all the way back to when I was a little kid. And they are cherished memories for me. And if I ever had kids, I would have done the same thing because that is just so cute. Can you imagine as an adult opening a box in your first apartment and you've got 20 Christmas ornaments that, that you've collected since you were a tiny kid and each of them holds a specific memory? Great idea. So that might be something you might want to start doing with your kids. It's not expensive and it's something that will, they will cherish and keep with them. I also picked up a couple package of their little uh, ball ornaments. And they come in these little tiny, tiny ones come in these little packages and they're only a dollar. So I grabbed this one. I really liked the colors that were in there. The hot pink, the green, the light blue. Really pretty. And then I grabbed another one that just had silver, so it has shiny and matte silver balls. And then I also picked up this package, and these are larger. This one was $3, and you get a dozen, excuse me, you get 16 in here. And I absolutely love this color this year, that's why I bought it. So you've got shiny, you've got matte, you've got glittered, and then shiny again really pretty and these are decent size these are the perfect size to put on a wreath now my favorite item excuse me i have two favorite items <laughs> that i found on this trip and uh this next one is one of them it was so cute let's see i have not seen anything like this before and i don't normally spend this much it was ten dollars but i figured you know i can't find this stuff to make it so i bought it and it is this little standing elf girl. And it says, Elf's, Elf rules. Be naughty, be nice, be merry, and be bright. <laughs> Which I thought was so cute. But look at her face. Really adorable. And then she's got a little scarf and her hat. And then her little feet are so cute. They did a really nice job. So... I couldn't pass it up. I had to grab her for 10. Okay, so this final item, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And it was only six dollars. Yeah, six bucks. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. Look at how big he is. He's bigger than my head. But absolutely adorable. Look at that face. Really nice big hat. Nice pattern, really thick, beautiful scarf, six bucks. So they had this guy, and then they also had kind of a gnome looking Santa. It had a really long beard. But I, you know, I'm a snow snowman girl. I love snowmen. So I went for this guy, and ah, uh, he's gorgeous. He's going to go onto a wreath. This big baby, 
Now the back is the back of the hat is plain. It doesn't have the same pattern, but that's fine. And just just cute. And this is it's so well made. And even the little nose, I love it. So this was my favorite find. This was my second favorite find. I thought they were so cute, but six dollars. Really cute. And this is gonna make an adorable wreath. Adorable. Well, that's it. That's all the goodies that I found at Dollar General. It was so fun to go in and to see that they added so many new items. I love it. I, yes, I'm a shopaholic. I'll admit it. I'm a bargain shopaholic. Because <laughs> when I go into a regular store nowadays and I look at the prices, I'm like, ah, I'm not paying that. I'm going to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. I hope you and your family are all staying happy, healthy, and strong. You have a great day, and I will catch you next time.